Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to repair a DC jack in a laptop. Uh, say you plug your power supply in to your laptop and you're not charging no more, uh, your light's not coming on in the front, and or you're getting hot or you smell something burning, uh, this little video is going to show you how to replace it. Okay, so the tools you're going to need is a soldering gun, some solder, and a desoldering tool. It's basically a suction tool. You've seen it probably on my other videos. Click it down, hit the button, put it on the solder joint when you're heating it, and then sucks the solder right out. And then you can pull it. Also, you're going to be needing your DC um, jack. You can order every uh, laptop has a different jack, so you're going to have to look up your specific make and model. Okay, so First things first is you're going to take your motherboard out of your laptop, obviously. Um, every laptop's different. There's different ways to take it apart. That's something that you're going to have to figure out. Um, but once you go ahead and get your laptop completely disassembled and the motherboard pulled out, uh, we're going to be changing out the DC jack on the motherboard. And this is what's shot. This little spot right here, that little hole, right there, if I can get a better pointer, show you. This little hole right here, right there, that's the ground. That's the one you got to watch out about. Make sure if it got completely chipped off over here, like it's missing it, then you would just take this part right here, this green right here, this green part. And you just make shave a little spot right there on the green, then run a wire from here right to the ground. If this little circle part right here got eat up completely where there's no more copper, but in this case there's still copper there, so that's how you would save it if it got taken off the board. You do the same thing with amps. A lot of people do it. All your other ports, HDMI or whatever you have, VGA, they're gonna be on top. You don't want to solder it like this. You don't want to solder it the wrong way, and you won't be kept on solder everything. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it all back together. Okay, so now that we got everything back together, we got the DC jack in its slots. So we're gonna go ahead and solder it on there. Just gonna make sure you got everything properly put in before you go ahead and solder it. Okay, so basically you're gonna put your solder gun on the pin itself and hold there for a little bit let it get hot enough and then we're going to take our solder and we're just going to run it into the side let it sit for a second and then pull up and it's done then you have a nice solder joint same thing with the, every other one you're going to hold it on there for a little bit let it get hot enough and you're going to go ahead and push it let it sit for a second and let go and that's how you get real nice solder joints. Just finish these other ones up. And here's the one that was messed up. Alright folks, well that's how you solder on a DC jack, a new one on a laptop. Look on the top. Everything's nice and everything's nice and flush. Let it cool down a little bit. And I'll go ahead and install it in the laptop and we'll see how that works. Okay, another quick tip is is just temporarily assemble your laptop. Don't fully assemble it. Put a couple screws in it, get the motherboard in there, and hook up the power strip. Or you can hit the power button or whatever. Um, on this, everything's together. The DC jack. I'm just going to go ahead and plug power to it and see if it charges. Okay, it's plugged in, and you can see the light in the front. Now it's charging. Of course, make sure you put your battery in there. But um, 
you can let it charge for maybe five minutes just give it a just make sure it's not going to overheat or anything kind of feel around the area because um, very possibly instead of the actual uh, power supply it could have been the battery itself rejecting but in this case um, I've already charged the battery a couple times on another laptop that was pretty much a similar uh, and it didn't have any problems so um, just a quick tip make sure you before you fully assemble the laptop just do a quick test because you wouldn't want to have to put the whole thing back together and then have to take it all apart uh, well guys I hope you enjoyed this little clip on how to uh, reinstall a uh, DC jack or repair a DC jack um, hope you guys subscribe to my videos uh, I'm gonna try to keep like a little bit um, different videos here and there some car stuff I'm an actual uh, licensed computer repair technician so um, just uh, that's why I do some computer videos and ECU videos and stuff well uh, I had a lot of fun doing this little video for you guys and uh, like I said please subscribe